that can lift 4,000 tons. I mean, check out the mechanical advantage. Look how many cables there are. I can't even count it. Apparently, this puts in those huge wind generators of like diameter of 300 feet or something. I know, it's crazy. They're all over there. They're massive, they're massive. I mean, check the size of that. I was trying to visualize what is 4,000 tons. I mean, it's difficult to actually picture. But then I came up with this. Just imagine 11 Ford F-150s by 11, arranged in a rectangle. That's right, people, 121 Ford F-150s on the base. And then stack 11 Fords high on top of all of those in a big rectangular box with full fuel tanks. Now that is about 4,000 tonnes. Okay, we've already done the discussion, but there's our diagrams. This is talking about the Teflon um, sliders. We've changed the design a bit. All right. Yeah. He, 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 he was wondering why we stopped work on them. Uh, Did you say it'll happen? Yeah, he will be finished if it wasn't for us. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. 
thought is where the daggerboard housing is going. And they're making that right now. So super loud. Everyone's on the bloody grinders, all those little Dremel tools. Crazy. It's like, uh, So hopefully, we'll see that go in in the next two days. They're super quick on the daggerboard. Literally, you blink or I go to the toilet and I come out and the job's almost done. I mean, crazy fast. I mean, daggerboards, there's nothing complicated, but still, they're perfectly done and they're quick. We had an idea, the design crew and myself, that um, we can actually improve on, see these run on sliders. It's like there are PTFE sliders that go along these that make sure that metal to metal doesn't come in contact. So this doesn't get in contact with the, um, the jaggerboard housing. So there's these Teflon sliders. Normally they used to just tap into the five mil, but we thought of a better idea. So we're gonna hold off on this and we're gonna make these little um, 20 mil M8 to M10 bolt size inserts on the bottom that we can tap into from the outside. So it'll be completely waterproof. Because if you tap into this and you're a little careless, I mean, that's not much metal to bite into. You're gonna get water in the jagger board, which is not good. The whole idea of these is they're light. Can you imagine if that's filled up with water, it's probably going to be another 80 kilos. There's probably four jerry cans of um, fluid would fit in that, I reckon. It's not fire, so there'll be an extra. Jesus Christ! So loud! Anyway, it's heavier, we don't want that, so we're going to improve the design. Come back at lunch. The sheet bending never ends, people. It's a bit of a joke there, a bit of a pun. See if anyone picked that up. God, he's good. Fifth adjustment. But we're getting there. You can't go too much. Got to do a bit at a time, people. That's the secret. Okay, now this is the other side. 
of the Daggerboard housing. So I'm not going to film this because it's just going to be the same as the other one. It's on the other side. But still, it'll probably take five or six goes to get it right. Just a whole bunch of sheep people in unusual shapes, but check out this. You happy with that? Um. <laughs> Are you happy with that? <laughs> Bloody hell. What the hell? Bloody, oh my god. Okay. That's such a tight fit. This guy should make bikinis for girls, people. Oh, oh what would they look like? Oh, I can't imagine. Well, I can't really imagine. I'm in a factory with 12 other workers and they're all got, well, they're all sporting wood people. Now to solve the slider problem on the dagger boards, it is great to be with a bunch of experienced capable people where we can each run our ideas and then look at whether they will work. The more we got into it, the better we got and others also chimed in. After all of that, I needed to go and explain it to the head designer, Mr. Trung, about what we really need. Major discussions with people about the daggerboard operation and the sliders. We're just trying to have um, the work as streamlined as possible. And uh, we know people that have had sliders in the past that have problems. And, well, we're just trying to solve the problem. But we think we've got it. We think we've worked it out. It's a big surprise. You'll see it in a bit. But back to more discussions. Mate, these guys are so switched on. We've got so many ideas and we're bouncing off each other. But the discussion keeps on going, people. Just watch. Here is the lead designer, Mr. Trung, who is switched on and understands very quickly what we need in the dagger boards. Top stuff, well done.